right, today's uh, Saturday, January 22nd, 2022. Uh, about to get started out here. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty much where we left off. Haven't, haven't touched it all week. Uh, so what we plan to do today is uh, we're going to put this quarter fin on. I think that's the plan today. <clears throat> I have that other patch sitting over there. I got to move stuff around in here. But this one is is pretty pretty whooped. I mean, somebody had a CB antenna here. It's it's got a lot of oil canning, and it was hit here. So it's got a lot of filler up under here. So I was able to score that quarter fin pretty cheap off a parts car. So we're gonna attempt to put that on. Uh, it looks like it's off of Bel Air. Uh, so I don't know. We're gonna have to do some measuring, but I think that's today's project. We're just gonna focus on this fin. Try not to get ahead of ourselves, but. Uh, that's going to be it for today. Uh, where we left off was we finished welding up the lower quarter patches. We test fit the skirts, test fit the molding, and so far it's okay. Uh, I'm not liking the way this is back here. It's, it's not that bad, but we're going to figure out something for this corner. Um, still waiting on my fr uh, frame kit, reinforcement plates. Uh, I paid for shipping yesterday, so hopefully they're on the way. But yeah, that's going to be today's project. So let me move some stuff around here, get some room in here. I got to back this jalopy out. And I do got my tail panels out here for some test fitting purposes. Um, these need to be straightened and eventually chromed. But they're overall, they're not bad pieces. So let me do that. Let me start moving around. I'll bring you guys back once we get some work. Bobby, you gonna be able to put that thing back? No, oh, I'm not putting no wings back. <laughs> Just mold it, mold it round. Yeah. None of those Corvettes. <laughs> so we just braced the trunk gutters because we, we felt that this was gonna wanna wobble around. So we threw some bracing on there, but man, I'm a little overwhelmed. Because the weight of, of the wing is putting a bow right here. So we'll see. We got the white piece over here. We got to trim that up. We cut the black smaller than what we needed so we can trim it back on the car. So, man. <laughs> what you think? Oh, we'll get it done. Yeah, I think we'll get it done, but man, it's a matter of time. This is like the hardest section we've done, I think. Yes. But we'll see. We'll bring you guys back once we get start getting it test fitted.
here we are uh six hours later five hours later we got it mocked in sort of roughed in uh this is looking good right here the top is looking good but we have a little situation down here i think the car well i know the car was wrecked by all the little dolly work that was back here so all this right under here was under under stress so when we cut this it the thing jumped up right the the yeah. the fin jumped up big time boop and then when we got down here this bowed out so all this metal was under stress from the act from whenever it was wrecked so we're gonna have to figure something out what do you want to do for that bobo throw it away <laughs> okay that's a start but the good thing is all that's, man, this is like dent free. I have to do a little bit of fitment back here, but it's coming along. A couple more hours of fitting and I think we'll be in almost out the woods. I'm a professional. <laughs> I have about right now 50% confidence. This morning was 10% confidence. Maybe in about another hour, I have about 75% confidence. Because, man, this thing has so many shapes. So many shapes. Then it was also wrecked right here. So this was pushed in. So I had to beat this out to get it a, a little bit better fitment. But all this was caved in. It's caved in up here. But you can't even, I'm going to have to dent pull that. You can't get the hammer back there. The other side, too? <sighs> yeah, man. Right here. Yep, that was all. Okay, then. Now, I didn't even realize that until I took the tail panel off. The tail panel covers all that completely. But we're going to fix that, too. So we'll finish up fitment here and uh, bring it back. Frankenstein. Man, how many, car, how many shapes does this car have, Bobby? Shit, about 100 different shapes, man. there though making this little piece to fill this little right here I mean all this is going to be molded when the time comes but make a little piece for that and we need to make a little piece for that because we're a little short what well what happened what happened was when that quarter panel collapsed and when we put it back it pushed this back further where where it was, where it should have been. But we're getting there, man. Ain't nothing. So now you're gonna cut this little piece here, a little L piece. So the old junk. We, we decided to uh, use the roll already right here. Yes, sir. The band. Sweet. We're just gonna cut it here. We got to clean it up. Kind of hard to catch it because it's so many different colors, but I'm, right now I'm about about eighty percent confident. Ma's confident. <laughs> yeah. He's at seventy-five. He's at seventy-five. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe in about an hour and a half, we'll be at one hundred percent. Once we're done. Yes. We hope that is good. Oh yeah, double fisting. Man. What you say, Bobby? What you say, man? Did a good job. We did a good job. The trunk needs a little bit of adjustment, but that's that's later to come. But the the gap, um, I like the gap. The gaps is it's even. <clears throat> oh, you want to show a little piece we made? Get these off here. I 
think the, the, the trunk is pretty equal to this. I think the trunk can go just a touch to the driver's side. But all that will come with the uh, in the bodywork stage, man. So we say we went with the original trunk gutter and we figure we can weld it and it'll be all covered up with the trunk closed obviously once it's smoothed out but I'm gonna I'm gonna mold all the trunk gutter anyways when the bodywork stage comes but man this thing was was hit from so many angles dude it was hit right here it was hit in here it was hit here the top was hit it was hit right that way it was hit up I mean I got some video of that like this thing has so many hits so when we go to put it on like it didn't really want to line up but now got a nice little curve right there way less body work way less blocking we have to address the quarter panel a little bit but that I think that's minor compared to what we got ourselves into this morning we had to add a little piece right here mainly because this was this was pushed in and when we started welding it down there this gap started getting bigger because it was pushing this back so we were we were short but we wouldn't we couldn't have known that because this thing was so wobbly once we cut it man this thing was really wobbly but the main thing is I'm liking that fin, man. Man, when we first started, that thing was broken. Bad. Like. Yeah. Yeah. So this was at 6 o'clock, man. So we started about what, 9? 8.30, 9? 8.30. So that's, that's 8 hours, man. 9 hours. 3 guys. Took a lot longer than I thought. I thought we'd be able to get it welded, but we'll get that next weekend. Oh, and I almost ran out of wire. So I'm really liking this cap right here you made. Sweet. I think it's gonna be minimal body work right here. Man, like you don't even feel the transition. A little bit right here, but yeah, not much, man. Still beat it up, yeah. What you think, man? We did a great job, man. <laughs> we're we were at a fifty percent earlier. I think we're at a ninety-five percent. So that was the last of the big pieces. Uh, I mean, we still got to finish welding that and do a little bit of more work. But after that, we flip it on the side and do the. The drop downs and the wheel well stuff meet the wheel lips with up with the quarter panels but man after doing this that's nothing this thing right here has so many shapes it's got that it's straight it's straight and it it's got that and then it twists what is there it's roughed in right now making progress so I don't even think I'm going to upload this. I think I'm going to wait till it's all welded in next weekend. <clears throat> Anything else you want to add? Yeah. Warmed up okay. It's 50 degrees. You want to start get it done next weekend? Yeah. Yep, that's the plan. Yep, yep, yep. So, man, this is original paint. It was off of Bel Air because the, the trim holes were on the on the rib so we had to gauge that but i got it because it's original paint and it's, and it's not they ain't got no dents it's 125 bucks so save some money on that let's bring you guys back next weekend stay tuned eat your biscuits bobby <laughs> the the what you said the car was dumping a little bit? Oh, it's intermittent, man. Sometimes that front corner, it's its not a, it doesn't leak on the ground. It leaks inside. Was it textile, maybe? Yeah, or, yeah, probably. A little, little piece of shavings or something. But it doesn't do it all the time, right? No. It hadn't done it in a while. Oh. <clears throat> man.
Yeah, so we're working on fixing this bow in the quarter panel. But it improved a lot. All you do is lean on it. <laughs> Not bummed it. Yeah. Let's see. Just need some back here. So that's today's project. My frame kit was set for delivery yesterday and then it then it said it was in Arizona. They took it back. They took it back. So I was I was looking forward to that, but that's not happening today. We do got the porta power. There's the cook. All right, today's Saturday, February fifth, two thousand twenty-two. I'm gonna be doing some work on the sixty today. Uh, I think today's plan is going to be we're going to grind down all the all the welds on this fin. We welded it up uh, last weekend. So grind that down, smooth it up, see, see what it looks like. And then I think we're going to flip the car back on the side and do the, the trunk drop-offs that meet the quarter panel. So on a 60, they're not reproduced anymore or they're discontinued, I should say. <clears throat> so I bought these. These are from a 64. Totally different car, but I think we might be able to salvage some parts out of it. We're gonna see, I don't think we're gonna use this, this back corner here, but that whole flat section right there, I think I think that could be utilized. If not, I have some, some, some flat sheet metal that we can make. Uh, I don't know, we're gonna see what we get into. So first order of business is get things set up in here. <clears throat> Gotta move that car out. About 30 degrees in here right now, but it's going to supposed to warm up to about 50. So that'll be okay. So it's a little chilly right now. It's been cold the last few days. I'm going to kind of take our time today, get this get this fin smoothed out, and then uh, flip it on the side. So we'll bring you guys back once we get started. What you say, Bobby? So these pieces right here, they're not they're they're discontinued. These, these 5960 trunk drop downs are discontinued. So you either gotta make it from scratch or buy make, a car. But yeah, buy a car that don't need them. So I picked up these pieces right here. They're from a 64 because I figured they kind of have the general, general shape. So this is the driver's side we're looking at. The passenger side is way, way less. So that, I think that's gonna be easier after we knock this one out. So we got to do this trunk drop down. We got to fill in right there, right here, up here, and all in there. And after that's done, that's it for the floor. So what are you thinking? Excuse me. I don't know what to do. I mean, all it is is a flat piece that comes drop down, huh? Well, here, we got this bend back here. Roll this, roll the piece back up here, right here, so we can tag, tag it. Spot, so like spot weld it to the wheel well lip. Spot weld it, because this one's straight. So we got to cut it, going this way, add a little, a little, little bit extra, and then bend the lip up, so you can have a lip just like this. Mm-hmm. Then, same thing over here, cut it extra, roll it to the back. What about using that that hole back here, that whole section? This one? Yeah. We can. It's kind of close. This is the okay. side that, that needed to be met up to the quarter panel. As this, this, this was wrecked, pushed in on the driver's side. So okay. that's why there's a gap right there. And if we if we put too much pressure here to do that, then the then the skirt don't fit very good. So this is kind of where it needs to be. We need to we need to make that meet the quarter because if we if we bend the quarter up to this, the skirt don't fit very good. So right now, as it sits, the skirt fits pretty good. So what's your confidence level? Twenty percent. <laughs> okay. So I guess first we just make a template, huh? Out of uh. Cardboard. Cardboard. Yep. So 
and we'll bring y'all back when we get get that done. Explain what we just did, Bobby. So we uh, unhook that. Not allowed. We decided to make this a little bit bigger so it can be easier for us. Cut this piece out of a 64 yeah. trunk drop down. It's a heading here. We're gonna tamp it here. Spot welded all the way across, or welded all the way across. And since this one's curved, and it's probably curved this way, we're gonna make a we're gonna do a separate piece mm -hmm. because the '64 one was was all the way straight. I like that the uh, it's got the little rib, and it's gonna the match ribs, the trunk. We're gonna match those. We got lucky on that. And then over here we need another piece too. So right now we're instead just of trying to bend it, one, yeah. two, three, four, five ways. Alright. So. so now we should punch some holes in the quarter panel with this air punch. Yeah. So we can spot weld it when the time comes. But I, th I think maybe we should probably put the skirt on before spot welding, you know what I mean? Yep. Like flip it upside. Make yep. sure the skirt fits good and then spot weld it. Yeah, we just gonna clamp it down. Yeah. I like that it's a, it has the ribs, man. That's gonna look good. Yeah. Factory. Better than factory. I don't know why I have so many drain plugs, man. All these rubber things are all drain. I got like 30 of them. And they're all they're all plugs, so what's the point? <laughs> That's when you drive the top down and you get rain off. Oh, okay. So here we are, three piece trunk drop down. We made that piece out of old fender. And this was the 64 drop down and this was 64 drop down, cut a few different ways. So far as getting there, just gonna weld it all up. Thanks to my fabrication skills. Yeah. I like that tool right there you have like my foot. Oh the punch? The air punch? Yeah. yeah. It's girthy. <laughs> yeah. It's girthy. Yeah, we use it on the on the on the floors where the sit over the rockers. It's a good little tool. So we made that so you can spot weld. So we're just gonna weld this thing up and uh, we're gonna leave this loose. 
and then flip it on the side put the skirt on make sure that fits good and probably tack it on in place with the skirt huh yep. with the skirt on yep. so we'll bring y'all back once uh, it's all welded up it looks like it's back there <laughs> all right so here we are it's in uh just so just to recap this was 63 64 impala trunk drop down or drop off and it has the ribs which i like because they match the the ribs on the trunk floor i don't think the back 360 even had that <clears throat> kind of custom made that out of uh the back of the 64 drop off and just made some pie cuts and made it work and then up here on the front we used a old piece of quarter panel that i had and then we just spot welded it <clears throat> on the bottom and we did test fit the skirt and it didn't make a difference on that area so all that's left on this side is that wheel well gap another little gap over there and that's it for this side and that's it for this side and then the next side is uh the drop off and then pretty much the same gap and then i think the floor will be considered done Maybe a little bit like at the front. Grinding? No. Uh, Pinholes? Pinholes. <clears throat> yeah, just a couple. And then the floor is done. And then once the drop offs are done, uh, we still have to do the inside of the trunk of the bracing that we cut out here. We need to cap that off inside the trunk. And that's it for metal work, huh? Yep. And then... I got like a dozen. <laughs> and eventually a firewall. Oh, yeah. But first we're gonna start on this frame. So, just gonna get cleaned up here. I guess that's a wrap, huh, for this weekend. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the fin. Oh, we gotta flip it down so I can show the fin. We grinded the fin down. So we're gonna get cleaned up, show you the fin, and that's a wrap. All right, well, here's the fin. All we did was grind down the welds. Still got a hammer and dolly a little bit, but I uh, just wanted to show the completion of that. Lines up with the trunk pretty good. We still got to grind this down a little bit and I think we're going to make a new piece up under here because it's dented in up here. I mean, you might try and pull that out with the stud gun, but you can't access it from inside. So outside of that, like I said previously, all that's left is the drop down on the passenger side and the wheel well areas, which the drop down ain't going to be that bad because this piece right here is, is pretty good. And that took most of the work today. So once that's done, all the roughed in metal work is done. Just got to beat some stuff into place and start on the frame. So I think I'm going to end this clip here. Bobo came through for help today. Appreciate it. Uh -huh. So hope you guys enjoyed this. We'll bring you guys back next weekend.